are certain images everyone associates with Christmas. Decorated Christmas trees, flying reindeer pulling a sleigh, Santa climbing down the chimney delivering gifts. But on the night of January 4th, 1993, at their home in Oceanside, California, Margie Beavers and her husband Lawrence found out that not everyone embraces the symbols of Christmas in the same way. I went to bed about 11.30 after the news went off and uh, kept squirming and wiggling around. So I thought, well, I'll get up and take some aspirins. That will probably relax me. just started to doze off and I heard this banging honey. and then I reached over and shook my husband I said honey honey somebody's at the door there must be a problem somebody's in trouble get up quick we're coming I ran to the front door thinking that that was somebody okay. banging on my door okay. and then by the time I got to the door I didn't even get the door open then I realized the voice was not outside it the voice was in the house Oceanside Police Dispatcher Laura Harris took the call. I was trying to picture this in my mind, and it, it wasn't really coming. It was kind of like, well, what's he doing there? Why is he in your chimney, you know? <laughs> Do you know who this person is? I have no idea. It just scares the dad woke us up. And he's stuck? He's stuck in there, thank God. <laughs> Most of the time when someone calls up and says, there's a man in my house, you know, he broke into my house, we have to run out and chase him all over the neighborhood. Well, this guy was there for the pickings. What are you doing in my fireplace? I said, what are you doing in my fireplace? And he says, I'm Santa Claus. What do you think? And so I said, well, I don't think so. I don't see any presents. And I know I've been good. <laughs> I wrote down on the card that it was a burglary and that he's stuck in the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Reggie Grigsby was the watch commander that night. She handed me this call, and I took a look at it. Um, <laughs> you have to excuse me. <laughs> but it was uh, a real struggle to remain a, a professional and get that call out. Less than a mile from the scene, police officer Catherine Hell was on patrol. When I first heard the call, I was like, eh, right, probably an animal. Tonight, this just didn't sound right. The police are coming. His arms was just flying everywhere, and he was talking nonstop. He never shut up talking. Are you armed? No, I'm not armed. Are you I'm, sure? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure of anything. Oh my, my legs are broken. Honey, I'm not no sure. Coming yet. I said, I'm going to go stand on the porch to make sure the police know which house to come to because I was so frightened. I wanted them to hurry up and get in here and get this guy out of here. Do I look like a bad guy? Look at my... He's just acting funny to me. Maybe it just because he's upside down so long. I don't know. As I arrived, there was this, the, uh, the reporting party, Miss Beavers, out on the front porch waving and screaming, Help! Help! He's in the chimney! He's in the chimney! Come on, Mr. Hurry! As I get into the house, I look around at this chimney, and there's this guy hanging upside down, yelling and screaming. And I'm thinking, where's Candid Camera? <laughs> I know there's a camera somewhere around here. Hold on, I'll get some baby. Officer Held called the fire department in to extricate the prowler as police officer Brad Hunter arrived on the scene. As soon as I walked inside the house, I just turned and looked at everybody else and started laughing. Yeah. Are you all right? Uh, no, I'm not all right. I'm okay. stuck I asked in a him. fireplace. During the questioning, I asked him what, what he was going to do <laughs> once he got into the house. And he quickly looked at me and responded, I was just going to steal the piano. The Oceanside Fire Department responded to the call. Get me out of here. Hey, listen, listen. We Don't walk away from me. This guy's obviously a little bit off the wall. I wasn't going to crawl into the chimney and try to lift him out. When fire captain Jim Myers arrived, he took charge of the extrication. Hi there. Hey, guys. I'm stuck in here. Oh, I was kind of dumbfounded. I wasn't too sure what to do with him. Just get me out of here. I'm stuck. Jerry, go ahead and get Dave. I had a crew come in and uh, ladder the roof 
take a look in the chimney to see what, what our options were from the top. There. Didn't appear to be any easy way to get him out of there. I decided to call for the rescue truck. The beavers, they were scared and concerned that this man had entered their house while they were sleeping. What's your name? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. I think when they saw that the officers and the fire department had kind of a sense of humor, they also began to lighten up and joke around about it to the point where Mrs. Beaver went and got her camera so she could take pictures to send to her grandchildren to her relatives. Smile. Smile. Oh, what is this? He was not very happy about this. The, the burglar wasn't. He kept saying, yeah, make a joke out of my being in misery here hanging in this fireplace. Make a joke out of it. <laughs> but we did get some very good pictures. When rescue arrived, they determined that the only solution was to break the chimney apart. So we had a guy on either side, and they had uh, some chisels and some sledgehammers, and they started chipping away at the blocks and pulling them out hand by hand and waiting for him to come on out. Ow! Again. One more. Again. I kept thinking, he needs a drink of water, but I couldn't figure out how to get water to him with him upside down. And he talked so much till I know he must have been thirsty. Guys, you know, I've heard of been confident in my life. All the time it was going on, he kept hollering, hurry up, I'm, I'm hurting, and you guys are slow, you guys are incompetent, and you guys don't know what you're doing. And it's got to be a little bit of a pain in the neck. We're working on him. He didn't like the speed with which we're working. Hold on. Ow! You know, you guys are the worst. Thank you. Okay. You think you could get me out of here by now? Can you be quiet for a second? Yeah. Thank I'm, you. I'm quiet. Yeah. For 48 years I've been hearing about Santa Claus coming down a chimney, and I've, you've never heard about really someone you going down a chimney. Right. It's just You're... incredible that someone would have the nerve to try to do something like that. Okay, hold on. Let's put pressure on. Okay, I got it. When they finally got the last brick that was holding him in place, just one brick was holding him there, he finally just slipped on right on out of the fireplace. There was not much to it at all. <laughs> it's kind of like delivering a baby. <laughs> Once they got him out and they went to arrest him, he decided to fight us. He wasn't real appreciative that we got him out of this chimney. What are you okay. doing? Come on. What are you doing? Well, Sam, it's time to go take a slow ride. The guy must be one of the most inept crooks in the county. Right, thanks for getting me out. Okay. I don't know if he dieted for this thing or not, but it, his plan certainly failed. After spending two hours upside down in the chimney, the Santa suspect was subsequently found guilty of burglary and sentenced to 330 days in jail. This is something I will never forget. Something that could have been very, very scary turned into something funny. It was just the most unbelievable sight you have ever seen. The police was very kind to him and uh, everybody in general. They worked to save his life as to well to protect us. I do appreciate him very, very much. For Christmas, I thought we would have a Christmas card made with this guy hanging upside down. And on the inside, I'm going to just say, just drop in any time from the Beavers. Merry Christmas. When it comes to saving lives, Simple things can often make a big difference. Make sure your house or curb is clearly marked with the address number so it is easy for rescuers to read it from the street. This series is dedicated to all the men, women, and children who answer our calls for help and are there when we need them most. I'm William Shatner. Join us again next week for more true stories on Rescue 911. In the holiday tradition, a young boy meets an old man and learns the true meaning of Christmas. Fred Savage and Hume Cronin star in Christmas on Division Street, next.